President Biden took executive action today to cut down on the number of migrants entering the country illegally. CBS News' Derek Waller with more on what the president's move means for our area. I'm from Yemen, so uh, we all came to this country. My grandparents worked for Chrysler in, in Detroit, Michigan, so it's not like I'm, I'm better than them, but just I feel like there's, you know, there's... There's a right way of doing things, and there's a wrong way of doing things. It's as simple as that. Isan Amalaki lives a block away from this former airport hotel turned migrant shelter. Families with young children live there, some of whom go to school with his children. Desperate families from around the world arriving in New York in droves. You can't just throw whatever you want into a pot and expect it, you know, to have a great dish. You know, that's, that's what they're doing. It's kind of like, oh, let's put the burden on New York and let them figure it out. Under President Biden's executive order, legal asylum claims would still be processed, but border officials will now turn away migrants who show up unannounced, while the seven-day average for border crossings remains above 2,500 a day. Doing nothing is not an option. We have to act. We must act consistent with both our law and our values. The ACLU is already planning to sue. The solution to overwhelmed courts is not to dispense with our values and our due process of law. It's actually to make sure that the courts can hear the claims of everybody in an expeditious way. That takes personnel, it takes staffing, it takes resources. And in fact, there's a bill in Congress that would do just that and add more immigration judges. It was introduced by a Republican. Biden says he'd support it, but after Trump urged members of his own party to oppose it, it never came up for a vote. In Elmhurst, Queens, Derek Waller, CBS 2 News.